Hello, and thank you for joining me another, in another lesson of Sage X3. In today's lecture, we're going to be taking a look at the process of creating a bill of lading associated with a customer delivery record. Okay, so the bill of lading documentation is oftentimes a form that the company will provide to the carrier to accompany the cargo along with the packing list. So as it relates to the bill of lading, uh, there's a couple things in the system that are required to be set up in order for it to function properly. So to start, we're going to go into the product site files. So under common data products, then to product sites. So here on the product, on the management tab, um, a couple different um, settings to take into consideration. Here in the packaging section, it's necessary for this packaging box to be checked in order to package the cargo before you generate the bill of lading. Um, I always also check this stock detail box so as to be able to see the individual stock details in the packaging. Here is where your packaging unit of measure is set. So for this particular, um, I believe it's a disc break. Um, yep, the disc break. Um, I'm going to package these breaks into a medium sized box with a packaging capacity of 12 units per box. Uh, then finally here on the product site record down in our bill of lading section we're going to specify the freight class associated with the cargo as well as the cargo's NMFC code. Alright so with those elements all in place we can go now and process an order. So we're going to go to sales orders then to orders. We'll do our new button. Specify the customer to whom we're shipping the product. Over here on the delivery tab uh, this information in the transport section is very important to have filled out. The delivery mode, the carrier, the INCO term, as well as the point of title transfer. Okay, and all of this information can be set up by default on the customer's ship to tab. Now we'll come over to the lines tab and insert our product. So in this case, I'm say I'm shipping them 12 units. We'll go ahead and create it. That'll generate our sales order. Now I presently have my system set up such that it automatically performs the inventory allocation. So from there, I can go straight away to create the delivery record. All right. Now I'm over on my delivery record where I have my 12 units being shipped out. At this point, I'm going to come over, click on my packaging button to package up the delivery. Okay. So in this case here, I see I have my 12 units and I'm packaging them into one box. I'm going to go ahead and set my sequence to one there. Go ahead and save that, and that'll go ahead and assign a package number as well as an SSCC code number to the uh, package. Then over here, I also have my package weight, the weight of the packaging material, as well as my dimensions. And this information is all coming in from my packaging unit setup. Alrighty. So now that the delivery is packaged, I can go ahead and click on my validation. Now that the delivery is packaged and the delivery is validated, 
At this point, I can come down under my right panel and under my options block, go to bill of lading. All right, and that tunnels me over to the bill of lading function. So this is a bill of lading coming out of site NA12 for my company NA10. In this case, the bill of lading type is going to be a customer because this is a bill of lading associated with a shipment. In some of, in future lectures, we'll talk about bills of ladings associated with supplier returns and miscellaneous bills. All right. If you only have one shipment associated with the bill of lading, that shipment identification number uh, presents itself in the header section. Um, if you have more than one shipment associated with the bill of lading, um, this field will be blank. Then over here on the content tab, you can see the details of all of these shipments associated with the bill. Okay, the bill of lading number here, this will be a system assigned BOL number that will be set once I click on the create button. I have the date of the bill of lading, my customer to whom I'm selling the product with their ship to address. Here's my carrier that's going to be transporting the goods as well as the mode of delivery. At this part, I can put in my seal number here as well as the pro number that my carrier provides. Then down here in the details section, this is where your freight class information will uh, come in from your product file, your package type, your NMFC code, the number of packaging packages that you declared on the deliveries, as well as their weight and volume information. All right, at this point, we'll go ahead and click on create. That'll generate the bill of lading number. At this point, we can come over, click on the printer icon, and come to record. And we'll pull it up to our preview. And here is your commercial bill of lading. So you can print out this document once again and provide this to your carrier um, as they're transporting the goods. Okay, so that's uh, how to go about and create a customer bill of lading in the system. Um, I hope this information was of help to you. If so, I'd ask you to please to remember to like and subscribe. And as always, if you have any questions, you can feel free to inbox me.